hello, this is Mr. Barr. We're going to talk about relations and functions, domain and range of a relation. In my last video, went over this. We'll talk about this again, though. The domain, that is the x's. It's just a fancy name for the x's. Range, oh, actually, domain, it, and we also like to call those the ends. The ends, it'll make more sense later on, but I'm going to start calling it the ends. The range, those are the y's or the outs. So I would have x and y. I could also call it my domain and range. There you go. This question, what are the domain and range of this relationship? And what's that really asking for is that if it's asking for the domain, it's just asking for the x's. What are the x's and what are the, the y's? Pretty simple. What are the x's? What are the y's? And one thing is when you're writing your domain and range, you usually don't duplicate numbers. So don't duplicate x's. Don't duplicate I can't remember. X's or Y's. So if I have the same X twice, I'm only going to write it down once. Let's take a look at this. So my domain, these are my X's. And right here, these are all my X's, right? X's, 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 X's. X's. Now notice the 7 is duplicated. I'm not going to write them twice. But here's my domain. 13, 9, negative 2, 16, 7. That's my domain. Those are my ends. These are the numbers that I can put into this thing. And I didn't duplicate 7. My Y's, 4, negative 7, 1, 9, 19, and 8. That's my range. These guys don't have to be any, in any magical order. Sometimes it's nice to write them in ascending order, going from small to large, but there's no magic in the order. And you cannot make the assumption that the 7 matches up with the 8 or the 9 with the 7. Don't. There's no assumptions in here that these guys are matching up. It's just all the X's and all the Y's. It's all the domains and all the ranges. Okay. This one, I've been given a set of points, haven't I? It's just the points are on a graph. So this point right here is negative 1, negative 3. This one's at 2, 0, 2, negative 1. So the domain are the x's. What are the x's? Negative 1 and 2. What are the y's? Negative 3, 0, negative 1. That's it. Done. X's and y's. Domain and range. I had a teacher in college. He called them the, the rangers or something like that. He was clever. Good teacher. Crafton Hills College. What's that guy's name? Funny thing is, I was already a teacher at the time. I was teaching high school algebra, algebra two. And so one summer I thought, oh, I'm going to go take a college algebra course and see if I can learn something and maybe improve as a teacher. Took the course, got an A in it, and found out that the college algebra course was easier than the algebra two honors course that I was teaching to high school juniors and sophomores. So. I don't know what that means. That's the story. I'm going to go do another video in a moment. Have a great day. <laughs> Dude. Okay, that's it. Bye.